Hello everyone and welcome to well the first video in learning Brizzy page builder. This is JP and in this series we are looking at the deconstructing of the blocks that you can find within Brizzy. First of all I like the word Brizzy as to Breezy. I know I've seen online many people mention it should be pronounced Breezy. I just like the pronunciation of Brizzy more. It's a little shorter and more convenient. So if I do offend anyone by not saying Breezy, I do apologize. Now, Brizzy is the new kid on the block and everybody's been talking about it in the world of page building. And with a new page builder comes a new method, comes a new design, comes a new workflow. And it can be a little bit overwhelming to both, well, power users as well as newcomers. And Brizzy has made this easier by including blocks. Now, if you come from Elementor, you know what is blocks, um, you know, templates, layout, you get it in all themes and page builders. But for a new page builder that is free currently, this is quite a huge add-on from the beginning that you have these blocks that you can build up a website with. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it means you are probably new to Brizzy, but if you have some idea of what I'm talking about, you have already played around with it. So in this first video, I just quickly want to get our heads around how the you can say the layout structure within the page builder works. So I am inside WordPress and I'm going to add a new page here and I'm going to call it deconstructing blocks. Let's call it one and yeah, let's just call it one and then I'm going to publish it. I'm using generate press. I've tried it on Astra and a few others works perfectly. And then from here, I'm going to not change anything here. And I'll show you in a moment why I'm not changing anything here. The things that we usually do before we go into the page builders. Edit with Brizzy. And that will load up our Brizzy editing template. Before I start working on the blocks and explain what's going on here, I want to show you why I didn't do any changes to the theme. If you click here at the bottom, you will see this little bar opening and it says page template. Now Brizzy loads with an empty template. So you're not going to see any headers. You're not going to see a sidebar or footer. None of that is going to be there. This is a complete empty page. If you save it and you publish it, it's going to come out looking empty. There's going to be nothing. If you want your theme to be displayed, you will have to go here under page template and you click here and you choose the default. Now it will load your theme's default. And for those of you that are used to generate press in its very standard form, here we go. Right, but I, I want to go back to the Brizzy. So I'm going to click here again on the Brizzy template. And we are back. Now, when you open the Brizzy page builder, you see this block here that says start building your page. And Brizzy provides you with a huge amount of free blocks that will help you kickstart your web page. If you click here and you open up, you will see a huge number. I really want to say for a free page builder, this is a lot. And there are so many blocks you can choose from. And you have a light version and you have a dark version. Also categories here to make it easier to find. So let's let's choose a header and we just choose yeah, this one over here. Looks like a typical header that you get. Great styling, da, 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 right? And this is the concept of a block. This entire thing that you have just loaded is a block. And the block is styled by this little icon slider up here in the top right hand corner. So if you click on it, you will see all these sliders opening or all these icons open. I'm not going to talk too much about that now. And then here, if you click on add a new block, you can add something more. Let's use a dark one now for contrast. Mm, yeah, the best features. See, there's our second block. And let's add one more block just for show. Let's use another light version. Oh, let's say image gallery. 
Right, so your image gallery is loading down here. And already, wow, you have got a very good layout for your website. And again, you've got three blocks here. And pardon the pun, but this is how Brizzy is built by building blocks. You build it up by the blocks. And what you do to get rid of these blocks, we're going back to a clean template, is you click on the icon and of course then click on the trash can. You do it for all of them. Right. Up here on the left, you will see this plus that says add elements. And you may be tempted to think this is where you are going to start off. This is where you're going to kickstart your website. Especially when you see these two here at the bottom. One is called row and the other one is column. And you would think that this would be the basics where you can start by dragging in. Oops, by dragging in a column. No, nothing happens. Elements, nothing happens. There is nothing on this bar that will allow you to start your web page. Your web page has to start with a block. And the only way to do that is to click on the plus and click on add a blank block. Once you do that, you will find this default block that opens here. We're going to talk a little bit now about how things go into this block because this will help you in the future videos understand what's going on. But I warn you, it is going to look a little bit complicated and confusing at times. The biggest problem probably with Brizzy at this moment is, and for the future, is that you can achieve the same thing in so many various ways. And you can either choose a very shortcut way or you can go in a cumbersome way to achieve it. But it's gonna look the same. And I would say you have to go with the workflow that feels best for you. Again, we know it's a block because we see this icon up here with the sliders. What do we have here? Now, this is what we were trying to do earlier we try to drag in a column and a row. The first thing you will find is this gray chevron on the left, an arrow that points to the top. And this is a row. Now inside this row, you see these two columns. And you may be tempted to think that a column goes inside a row and the element goes inside a column. Yes, you are correct, but that's not the whole story. So I'm going to show you from scratch a little bit about this. I want you to delete the row and with that, it will delete the columns. So what do we see now? Isn't this a row? No, this is just a frame. That's all. And with this, when you click on the plus, your add elements will open. And that's where you have to remember both a row and a column is also strictly an element. But in Brizzy, you can drag your element directly in here without the need for a row or a column. Let me show you. Let's take text and we drag it in there and we drop it. And voila, there you have it. Now, what you see is that there is no little icon here. There's no arrow, nothing. This is not a row. This is not a column. This is purely an element. This is a text element. So if you want to add another text element below it, all you need to do is, of course, drag the text. And you drag it. I like the lines that show up until you see the thick gray line and you drop it. And now again, you have another element. Again, there are no rows here. There are no columns. There are two elements. If you want to add, let's add an icon just for the sake. Let's add an icon between the two. Again, there you will see the icon is going to load. And yes, these are just elements. But of course, naturally, what we have on websites is we often have a left side column and a right hand column. How are we going to do that? And that is the column function. When I loaded the block earlier, it loaded with a default row with two columns inside. And I mentioned that you may be tempted to think that columns go inside the row. But that's just one possibility because in Brizzy, columns can go by themselves. So I'm going to grab the column element and I'm going to drag it until I see that thick gray line 
and I'm going to release it. And it's going to load two columns automatically. And I believe that the Brizzy developers probably think if you just need a single column, you only drag the element. No need to make a column. Now, these columns are not inside a row. You do not see that little gray bar over there. Let me contrast that for you by dragging in a row. I'm going to drag the row until I see the thick gray bar. And here you will see the difference now. There is your row, but there is nothing here. Just two columns. Yes, so let's just go. I'm going to delete the row again so we can just focus on these two columns. And again, like on any web page builder, you can add elements to the columns. Let's add a icon into both of them. And there you go. You have that. The next thing you can do, of course, is you can duplicate these columns. So if I click here on this little up arrow, you will see the duplicate button here. And if I click on it, it's going to give me three equally spaced columns. Now, if I want to duplicate this as a row, that is not going to happen because it isn't in a row. And this is often something that we do. So let's do it now using a row. I'm going to drag the row in. Then I'm going to add an icon to each one. And then I'm going to duplicate that. And now I want to duplicate the row. I'm going to click that and voila, I have duplicated the row. Good. So you have an idea. It's a little bit confusing. You get your head around to it eventually. But it is something that when we look at deconstructing the blocks, you will begin to understand the power of all these different elements, rows and columns. Just before we finish with this movie, I just want to do it a little bit again and add a few things just to complicate things a little bit more. I'm going to again start with a block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. And then what I want to do is I want to have a row with two columns. And what I'm going to do is let me put a color on the background block so we can see things a little bit more clearer. And then what I'm going to do is I want to add now a image to my row. And why would I want to do that? Because that's the kind of thing I like to do. And I'm going to grab this image here. And you see very, very nice. So. Now I can add, for example, a heading there, which will come from your text. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just adding it. And I'm going to add another one over here that's going to be our text. The thing I want to do now is I want to continue with this background image. But the next part, I want three columns, not two. How can I achieve this? This is where things become a very, very, very tricky. Um, I tried to drag in the row, but of course, what happens when I drag in the row and I let go, it opens a new row, which means that image is not connected to this image. I thought that if I grab this row by clicking on it and you see those move handles, I thought if I drag it in, it will give me another row inside a row, but this is what happens. It now breaks this part into two columns that I've dragged under this one. It becomes a little bit tricky, right? I'm going to undo. Here at the bottom, you see the undo. I like shortcut, so I'm going to click on Control-Z. Right, it's undone. This has taken me a long, long time to try and figure out how can I get two columns, or what I actually want is three columns. So let me make the three columns. How can I get these three columns to be under these two columns in the same row? And trial and error and frustration, I figured a workaround. And I'm not sure if that is the way to go or just I am not seeing the way it should be done. But this is how we're going to do it. So follow closely, boys and girls. Uh, let's delete this one here. We are going to delete the one column until there is only one column left. 
and I am actually going to delete this column as well. So let's do it again from the beginning so we can see how it is done. First thing, grab a row. You guys see the row? Let's grab a second row. Let's make this, leave it at two columns. Your first row with two columns, you delete one column. And then you grab your row, your second row, and you drag it into the column. Yes, not the row. And look what happens. <gasps> Red boxes. So the principle of the building elements inside Brizzy is that a column goes inside a row, and a row can go inside a column, and columns can go inside columns. You'll get the hang of it. But what does this allow me to do now? Look, when I drag in a second row, and I have three columns here, I can now drag that into that column that is within a row. Good. And why does this matter? Because like I showed you earlier, even though I have my gray background, I actually want to have an image on this. And I'm going to place that image with inside my row. Now I can place elements all over the show and it will allow me to keep that image. This one is a little bit tricky and I'm not entirely sure, like I've mentioned, maybe I've got something wrong here, but this is the way I found it to work. And this is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg. You saw earlier that if you have a row, remember this is a column. If you have a row now, I drag in another row. Let me drag it there. I can drag this row inside that column. And now look at that. You see, things get really, really interesting at this level. I actually just duplicated it. But this is how you start building it up. And it's rather challenging. Good. So you've learned about blocks. You can do nothing in Brizzy without a block. Once you have a block, you can decide. If you just want a single column, you can just drag your elements in directly. No need for you to make rows. If you want to have a button, you can just drag it in. Okay, well, let me just delete this again. This is my preferred workflow, and I just didn't do it myself. I actually go and I delete it. The block loads with this row and two columns. I go ahead and I delete it. I start afresh. And from here, I can drag in whatever I want to do, an icon under that. And the moment I want to have two columns, I can drag in my columns. And now I have two columns. Let's drag in an icon there. And if I need something that has a different background, I can drag in a row. I can duplicate the columns inside the row. And this is how you are going to be structuring your layout. Right. I hope that has given you an overview. And don't feel worried if you think this is all a little bit intimidating. You'll never get there. In the next videos, we are going to take the blocks that are inside Brizzy. You see all these blocks. We're going to bring them in like this one. And we're going to look at how did the developers or graphic designers at Brizzy go about setting up this block. The reason I think this is the best way to learn is that copying is an essential part of building up a skill. When you copy what others have done, you begin to understand how things work and it makes it easier for you then to construct your own in the future. Right. See you in the next movie.